Hello, I'm Dr. Hassan Tawheed, and I'm here with an amazing session as usual. How to be a neuroscientist. to be a neuroscientist. So many people ask me this question that how can I become a neuroscientist? What degrees do I need? What qualification do I need? Now let's begin. Let's talk about this. First of all, the first thing first is decide. Decide that you want to be a neuroscientist. Without decision, nothing will happen. Most people just keep wishing, keep praying, but they don't decide. So first of all, you need to decide that yes, I want to be known as a neuroscientist. That's step number one. Now, after you have taken the decision, what do you do? Take an action towards becoming a neuroscientist. Now, what do you do? What action do you need to take? First of all, be a lifelong learner of neuroscience and not just neuroscience. Be a lifelong learner of neuroscience, mental health, whether it's psychiatry, psychology, or neurology. You have to be a lifelong learner of these fields. What are the fields I mentioned? Psychology, psychiatry, neuroscience, neurology, because they all come under one umbrella of neuroscience. They all are sister branches. They are, all are always together. You cannot separate neuroscience from mental health, neuroscience from psychiatry, neuroscience from neurology, or neuroscience from psychiatry. Psychology. You cannot separate them. So you can choose any of these domains and you can still be a neuroscientist. Or you can study all four of them and become a lifelong learner of all four of these. Now, you become a lifelong learner of these fields. So what do you do? Get all possible books on these subjects. Let's say if you choose psychology, get all possible books you can find on psychology. You don't need to buy the new books. You can buy the used books. Go to a used book store and get all the books related to psychology or get all the books related to neurology or neuroscience. You should have a library at your home of neuroscience. Only then you can be a neuroscientist and start reading it. Make a schedule every day that no matter what happens, I will study neuroscience every day. Just read something every day. At least dedicate one hour a day, one hour a day on reading neuroscience. Just make sure you don't spend a single day without reading anything on neuroscience because you have to first become neuroscience scientist inside. And only then you will become neuroscientist outside. You have to start to believe that you are a neuroscientist. Change everything to neuroscience. Change the things you watch on TV or YouTube or anywhere to neuroscience. You should be watching all the videos related to neuroscience. You should be watching all the documentaries related to neuroscience. You should read all the books, magazines, anything you can find about neuroscience or human brain. Just be crazy about human brain. If you are crazy about studying human brain, you are actually a neuroscientist by behavior. Talk about neuroscience, read about neuroscience, study neuroscience, listen to neuroscience, science audiobooks, YouTube videos, and the most important, write about neuroscience. Start writing blogs and review articles, research articles, start writing them. Yes, so many articles can be written sitting home. You start doing it. And now you have already mentally and spiritually converted yourself into a neuroscientist. However, you don't have a title of neuroscientist yet. Remember, neuroscience is a science. And if you study neuroscience, you are technically a neuro neuroscientist. However, you want the title of neuroscientist by an organization, right? That's what you're looking for. So how do you go about it. Remember, when I said talk neuroscience, what do I mean by that? Find people who are neuroscientists. Go on LinkedIn, type in the search bar neuroscientist, click on people and find those people and start becoming their connection. Send them a connection request. If they like it, they will add you. Some people will reject it. Some people will still add you. So you should have a lot of neuroscientists added to your LinkedIn and become friends with them and tell them that you are interested in becoming a neuroscientist and you have been studying neuroscience for so long. So technically you are a neuroscientist, but you are actually trying to become a neuroscientist is officially where the world recognizes you as a neuroscientist. Talk to them, become friends with them. And if they live nearby, go invite them for a coffee or lunch. Be friends with them. Now, once you have done this, you have a big pool of neuroscientists that you know. You have the knowledge of neuroscience and human brain. You have all the books possible on neuroscience. Now, you have also written some papers on neuroscience. You have also written some blogs in neuroscience. Now, it is time to start to apply for jobs in neuroscience research. Now, contact all possible labs you can find on LinkedIn or ResearchGate or the simply Google it or go to any university website and search the neuroscience department, psychology department, psychiatry department, mental health department, and contact the researchers out there and tell them that you are interested in being a researcher and even accept the job if it's unpaid. The biggest mistake many people do is that they don't accept any position unless until and unless it's paid. Get a job as a volunteer researcher. The moment you get a volunteer researcher job in any of those labs, you are a neuroscientist. You're technically a neuroscientist. Now, eventually one day when you work hard, you make your reputation. If any paid position comes up, who else 
are they going to hire? You will be one of the first priority and you get a position. You become assistant researcher, assistant neuroscientist and wait for a day. They will give you a title of neuroscientist. Now, the next thing, do you need any degree to be a neuroscientist? The answer is yes and no. What do I mean by that? First of all, if you don't believe you are a neuroscientist, the world will not believe that you are a neuroscientist. So you have to start believing inside that you are a neuroscientist and then the world will reciprocate. Eventually, you will see that you will get the title of a neuroscientist. And now, do you need a degree? In some cases, yes. To get the position of a neuroscientist, you need masters in one of these fields. Psychology, psychiatry, neuroscience, neurology. Get the masters in whatever field you feel you want to do. And once you do that masters, you now can easily get a position of a neuroscientist. And on top of that, if you want to do something else, do a PhD. Do a PhD in neuroscience and see the magic. You will get the position of neuroscientist. The world will start to recognize you as a neuroscientist. So what you did was you became a lifelong learner. After taking a decision, you became a lifelong learner. You got all the books. You started to live a life of a neuroscientist. You talk about neuroscience. You think about neuroscience. You, you live the life of a neuroscientist. You just always listen to the audios and videos related to neuroscience. You just converted all of your life around neuroscience and you started to write blogs and articles on neuroscience. So you have already established your authority as a researcher in the eyes of the world once you become a published author. And when you join a lab, now you officially are a neuroscientist. It's just a matter of when you will get the title officially. Just talk to the management out there that can you get a title of neuroscientist? Since you qualify for it, you have so many publications, you have a background. Can you be given a title of neuroscientist? Instead of assistant researcher, can they give you a title of assistant neuroscientist? And trust me, it happens. They don't care. They won't mind. Eventually, you will see you will get the title. And if you have a master's degree in neuroscience or psychology or psychiatry or mental health, you will see a huge difference. They will easily accept your request of changing your title to assistant or associate neuroscientist or a full neuroscientist. That's the pathway of becoming a neuroscientist. Now, apply for jobs, CRA jobs, clinical research associate or clinical research assistant or CRC, clinical research coordinator. Apply these positions. And when you get there in the field of neuroscience, mental health, psychiatry, psychology, you already have established yourself as a neuroscientist in the eyes of the world and wait for the day when they will change your title to a neuroscientist. So it's not a big deal. Remember, they will do that if you firmly believe that you are a neuroscientist and with your knowledge, with your knowledge, expertise, you show them that you really are a neuroscientist. Now, how did I become a neuroscientist? I did the same thing. I became a lifelong learner of human brain. I became crazy about psychiatry, psychology, brain, neuroscience. I started to read about it. I was listening to the audio books on psychology and psychotherapy in my car. I became a lifelong learner of human behavior, psychology, every single field of psychology you can find. I was reading all the books. I purchased a DSM, DSM-5, everything. I used to go to libraries and books, uh, bookstores and used to get all possible books on psychology, psychiatry, neuroscience. And I collected books on this subject and I made my own library. I started reading them. I became crazy about the subject. I started to watch the videos on neuroscience and I started to work on neuroscience projects. And I got a research position in neurology and I got a research position, volunteer position in psychiatry, neurology. And then I started my clinical journey. I joined addiction counseling field and I got the board certification. I became a clinician. So I already have an expertise of a neuroscientist and I got an offer to be a consultant neuroscientist from an organization in Japan. At that time, I did not have the board certification, but because I had the background knowledge, I had some publications and I had volunteer research background in psychiatry and neurology. And I had some papers published in these fields. The organization gave me the title of consultant neuroscientist. That's how I became a neuroscientist. And I got all my education credentials later on, completed my clinical hours, get the board certification. That's how I became the neuroscientist. So can you all do that? Absolutely, you can do that. You have to first start believing that you can. Thank you for watching. Keep learning. Keep watching.